Santa has a heavy Christmas sack and he wants to spread his joy all over your faces. Welcome to Smoke Blog. Right, I'm Slack, this is Tony, we are Smog Vlog, and yeah, it's our Yule Vlog. How it's going to work, we're going to do like a tiny bit of news, you know, not too much, because we're also going to run through what's happened in the year, some good devices, some bad news, all of that sort of stuff. Um, we have no idea what's going to happen, it's craziness up in here, so check the time code if you're interested in a bit. But for now, let's get on with it. Okay, so first up on our mini news thingy that we're going to be doing before the other thingy that we've got to do, which is quite a lot to get through, is Bronx EMT suffers major burns after e-cigarette explosion. Now you'll note Tony emphasising e-cigarette explosion there with a single digit. Um, however, it wasn't an e-cigarette that exploded, was it? It was batteries loose in his pocket. And um, we've seen a lot of this. Batteries exploding in pocket. Oh, it's the fault of e-cigarettes. Eh, it's not really. <laughs> he's got batteries in his pocket. Just because he's using them for e-cigarettes when they're in something, you know, doesn't make it e-cigarettes fault. Yeah, he wouldn't have had batteries in his pockets if it wasn't for e-cigarette, but he wasn't following battery safety. Uh, and it was the batteries that exploded, not e-cigarettes, not vaping. And it's, uh, yeah, yet again... The media love to get hold of e-cigarettes and, and try and do their worst. As always, we both feel sorry for the guy, as I'm sure everyone else does. I mean, it, it, it's a shit thing to happen. The flip side to that is battery safety is a number one priority. Uh, if you're going to be using these things, you need to know how to deal with them and how best to look after them. If you do buy new batteries and whatnot, I mean, they, they're always supplied in cases. If you're finding that you've run out of cases, given them away, thrown them away, whatever, and you need, need some to be traveling, they can be sourced really cheaply through the internet or even your local vaping stores yeah it's just over a dollar for like two you know a two battery holder and you know that versus you know running them in your pocket with some change and short circuiting them and and you know all that skin graft all that pain yeah third degree you know. burns it, it just it doesn't stack up at all yeah I mean, accidents happen, but you know, accidents are also generally avoidable, and uh, this one's quite easy to avoid. And we just see it more and more as more and more people are getting into vaping, which is great. You know, we're so happy uh, as reviewers. You know, people still getting into vaping, even with all the media controversy over vaping, even with the FDA, the TPD, people are still getting into vaping. That's great. But you know, safety first, guys. Next up on the whirlwind whatever the fuck this is, uh, is US Health Report, e-cigarettes are not safe for young people. Yeah, so the Surgeon General's done his first uh, you know, new thing on uh, e-cigarettes, and funnily enough, he doesn't like it. Um, here they're, they're saying that you know, e-cigarettes are particularly bad for young people, um, which is weird, because I thought young people weren't allowed to vape anymore in America. So, yeah, that, that's interesting, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Uh, however, yeah, if, if that is the case, young people aren't allowed to vape. Why is this even worth mentioning? Yeah, breaking the law is bad for people. Okay. The report goes on to say that the popularity of e-cigarette use has gone up quite substantially in in the United States, and it reports that e-cigarettes is the most used tobacco product by youth in America. Yeah, youth and young adults there, um, but. Yeah, that that is a good thing. It's really weird because, you know, e-cigs, you know, compared to tobacco, mm. and you know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, that that's not where you know it keeps sort of going downhill from there. Because you know, the next statement they've got that I have a bit of a problem with is, is that they're saying, you know, e-cigs are basically undermining fifty years of hard work that they've put in to try and stop children smoking and yeah youth young adults and and really show me the yeah everyone smoked at school and college you know when i was there it, the, all this hard work you know it, it's just it doesn't work yeah i mean having already sort of sat this year with martin who works at a college you know and and th these are not a gateway to smoking and, and these are a sort of blocker to smoking for a lot of kids that would otherwise start smoking traditional tobacco so regardless of 
what you think that is what happens in the real world and, and you know kids are going to want to smoke you know just like that age of rebelling and stuff we've all been there and uh yeah the article effectively reads on to say that because of this popularity rise in the use of e-cigarettes by young adults and the youth of america that is undermining efforts um, that, that, that the government have, have put in place to, to, to reduce tobacco use by those those groups. And, and, and that bit is the bit that really fucking gets you because they say tobacco use and they're applying it to e-cigarettes that don't have any fucking tobacco in at all. He just told me to do this bit and because and, he was getting fucking annoyed about it. And now he's... Any, any fucking sane person reading this shit will feel exactly the same. It's moronic and stupid beyond belief. Do you want to say something else? Yeah, okay. yeah good. Because shitting bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Right, while Tony quickly finishes his aneurysm, uh, yeah, I mean, the, it gets worse because then the report goes on to say that, you know, nicotine is the problem is nicotine. Nicotine, yeah, nicotine comes from tobacco plants, and then that's where this problem comes from. And nicotine is what damages the youth. But actually, I know a lot of really young people who get into vaping. Again, it's a barrier to stop them getting into smoking, yeah? And they don't use nicotine in their e cigs and so they've got a barrier, they've got an effective thing where they can go hang out with their friends who are smokers, who are vapors, who are, you know, whatever else, and they've got that without the nicotine, yet e cigs even without nicotine, still get lumped into that thing, it's a tobacco product, even if there's no nicotine, definitely no tobacco. I mean, we, we could go on and on with this story, but we kind of need to stop because we do have a lot to get through. Uh, but yeah, one thing is certain, it's, this is the first sort of mandate by our, our Surgeon General in America. It doesn't look good, does it? You know, it's clear which side of the fence they're sitting. When you've got Public Health England talking about 95% better for you than smoking, and then you get shit like this come out and then fuck off. <laughs> 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 you sir may fuck off okay and the next article is going a bit left field how e-cigarettes ruin plastic surgery vaping chemicals prevent skin from healing after nips and tucks yeah, I mean, really important there, you know, because obviously number one priority is plastic surgery, real life should just fit around. Uh, and it's not even e-cigarette. Again, they're blaming e-cigarettes, just like the batteries get blamed. You know, battery explodes, well, it's e-cigarettes, uh, e it's nicotine. And remember, you can vape without nicotine. And what is even worse about this story is there's no evidence of this, there's no facts. People have just looked at that sort of things and went, yeah, that's probably true. Let's just say it's true. I mean, in fairness, if I was going for some sort of surgery and they said there's a chance, you know, we don't know, but maybe there's a chance it will create problems, then I, you know, whatever, give up for, you know, the time just to be on the safe side at a chance. But for the media to be pushing this and everyone else to be pushing this like it's fact when it is not yet fact is just fucking stupid. Ugh. And so finishing off this article, like Slack said, is just it's unproven rubbish. I mean, if you're going to believe in this bullshit, you might as well believe in Santa. And while we're talking about Santa, have you seen Papa Smurf there? <laughs> OK, and lastly, for this mini vlog bit thing yep. is one of the world's largest tobacco companies has launched an electric cigarette that might just be as bad for you as a normal one yeah again this is at the moment sort of media hype and, and we don't really know however so yeah philip morris huge giant you know responsible for marlborough and that shit film and, and you know, various other things. They've been twiddling their thumbs and, and just watching their profits go down as everyone takes up vaping and probably spent a lot of money trying to make vaping look really, really bad. Finally, they're jumping on the bandwagon and, and they sort of like a bit of a swing and a miss with it. So rather than getting into sort of e-cigs like we use, that um, they're getting into an actual tobacco heating sort of 
thing, so it's more like a dry herb vaporizer rather than a you know e cig. Doesn't sound good to me. You know, I, I'm not particularly excited about this. <laughs> you know, when, when we've got all these lovely juices and we know what goes into them and if tobacco is not the bad thing then you go well hang on why, why are cigarettes bad oh yeah because they dump loads of poisons in them to make them burn and so uh, what are they going to be dumping in them to make them heat efficiently you know time will tell time will tell what's your take on this fire bricks they're going to be putting fire bricks in them <laughs> fire lighters Firelighters. Firelighters, they're putting firelighters in them. Ah, yeah, it sounds safe. <laughs> I'd fight <vote> that. <laughs> this is a bit of a weird piece for us because it, it, it's not e cigarettes, it's, ele- it's electric cigarette. It, that, that's going to be confusing for a start for, for a lot of people. But it, how, how do you feel about it? I mean, it's we're, we're, we're on the good shit as far as I'm concerned. That is probably half a step back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if this had come out first, yeah, after your traditional smoking before e cigs came out, then yeah, maybe. But yeah, half a step back, it would just be the next logical step to then go forward onto vaping from from there. So, yeah, it's just a, a weird misstep that that was never there for us. Even though, from memory, this isn't the first time a device like this has actually been brought out. They're, they've actually released something like this in history a lot of years ago, and it can't have gone down well. Yeah, or well, we would all be using that instead of you know, e-liquid and uh, joy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that more or less sorts that story out because, well, we just don't care, really. Um next up well that's that's kind of the vlog done for it was only ever going to be a mini vlog just because we've got so much to get through on this episode uh next up we're going to apologize and say sorry so sorry uh for not actually bringing out a vlog sooner we, we've been meaning to this guy's always fucking promising oh yeah we'll get one done for you every fucking week <laughs> it's, yeah fucking right we, we we always mean to sort of do it but with the ex- expos that have happened this year we sort of cleared a black backlog with one more or less and then we had another one to go to and then we had another huge backlog we had even less time with each other oh. it's just been crazy it's been a fucking crazy year yeah crazy but good but yeah sorry guys uh, we really enjoyed doing the vlogs even though it makes us angry generally because yeah we just have to look at the media to get angry and to have to actually talk about it makes us quite angry um however you know we do enjoy doing them uh, and we obviously get a lot of good feedback from you guys on them so i would like to say next year we're going you know we're starting to get to a plateau and yeah next year certainly more frequently than the last three months or however long it's been since the last one i don't know but yeah we will again do our bestest do our damnedest <laughs> you lying bastard. <laughs> we will. We're, we're catching up. We're catching up. We're catching up. We're catching up. Okay, so next up, the year in review as far as small blogs are concerned. Yeah, so we'll start talking about sort of vaping news in general and, and some of the highs and lows. Uh, obviously, starting with the lows so we can finish on some highs uh, as we do um first thing has got to be the tpd and the fda sort of regulations and, and all that bullshit which yeah everyone should know about by now um we've all been impacted by it in one way or another and it's only going to get worse as, as the rules are sort of enforced more yeah carrying on from from the likes of the tpd and the fda the 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 offshoot of that being the the troll mentality that I've seen on the likes of Facebook and Reddit forums, whereby misinformation is being disseminated to to people. Just last night, I read that some someone was saying that uh, because of the new TPD regulations that uh, all delivery companies, Royal Mail, um, all, all the delivery companies wouldn't be taking e juices at all. Uh, it turned out to be a massive load of bullshit. Just some troll dreaming up a story just to, you know, be an arsehole. Yeah, I mean, there, there are restrictions on shipping liquid, but, you know, it's not going to stop. And, uh, you know, it's allowed mostly. Next up for, for the the bad shit going on, it's got to be the media as always, you know, fucking pitchforks, hating e-cigarettes, 
doing like they always do, treating it like like it's the fucking arsehole of Satan. Yeah, I mean, the media do love to have things to hate, and if there isn't anything to hate, they just make something up, and that has been true of e-cigarettes as well, they hate it. And when there's nothing going on and there's not been any bad e-cig press for a while, they'll just make something up, mm. which is later retracted and it's all just noise and bollocks. But uh, it is just very, very sad. What was good, there was a little window for about a week and a half where it looked like the media was starting to swing towards popularity of e-cigarettes, you know, following <laughs> Public Health England. It looked like, oh, hang on, we're turning this note. No, no. It, it was just a very short window where I thought, oh, hang on. Uh, uh, things changing but no and yeah we don't see it changing <coughs> next year I don't yeah. think it'll ever change you know, now they've got their sort of hate um, who knows maybe in you know 10, 20, 50 years whatever they'll turn around and go ah we told you so but you know equally if they don't then they're just wasting everyone's time and putting people at risk yeah finishing off the, this one it, it, when when we do a vlog that rare occasion <laughs> we, we we go through through all the new news articles uh, and you know we have no fucking trouble find, finding the bad stuff or whatever's current whatever they're deciding to fucking you know poke pitchforks with we have to work really fucking hard to find that that feel good piece that that nice nice little ending the bit that you want to give the upshot to so people go away and feel better about it always feel better after a happy ending but as time goes on it is becoming more and more fucking impossible i mean and i can't like like you said i can't see next year being any better yeah and tied in closely to the whole media thing is, is you know the whole battery safety thing which we've already touched on in the news articles earlier and yeah i mean people put batteries loose in their pocket and they explode and then the media get hold of that and it's all blaming e-cigarettes even though it was just a battery loose in the pocket uh, and that obviously where e cigs is just getting so popular and you know we're seeing more and more of that and it's now getting caught on cctv and you know all, all this sort of stuff and yeah it's just a bit frustrating watching it because when you hear about it you know that the media are just going to grab this by the balls and squeeze mm. as hard as they can mm. for the sake of a very inexpensive sort of battery holder bit of fucking molded plastic and it could save someone so so much time and trouble and fucking hosp right. hospital visits yeah and while we're talking about the bad stuff for the year, I mean, we've seen some shockingly bad devices as well as that great innovation we've seen on some good stuff, but there have been some absolute clangers. For me, I think the biggest clanger has got to be the Hell's Gate. You know, it was just a complete debacle. Just poor design, poor performance. There were good bits about it, but overall, just massively let down by design flaws. I mean, it was so bad that one of my mates actually had it, and he was really gutted. He left it on the dashboard of his car when he popped into the shop, and unfortunately, when he came out, someone had broke into his car and left another two. So, uh, yeah, his shit. Right, and while there probably are some other bad bits lurking about from this year, luckily we've managed to repress them in our memory. And the last one I'm going to finish up with is, is some of the vaping controversies we've had this year. So, Asmodus used to work with uh, Lysomo, and uh, they, Lysomo developed the Snowwolf for them. Well, Asmodus did, they manufactured it, and that, that was going great. Snowwolf 2 was just about ready to be released, and there was a delay. Then all of a sudden you get the Lysomo L1, uh, which is a brilliant device. However, that was Snowwolf V2 originally, and so Asmodus ditched Lysomo because Lysomo had gone behind their back. We've also had iJoy and Limitless Fallout, where Limitless, it's exactly the same thing. You know, Limitless uh, working with iJoy out in China, and iJoy have just like gone off and done their own thing. That's not per agreement, uh, and they've split up. And th that is bad. I mean, it's kind of what you expect when you're sort of working with China, but they don't really have intellectual property so much, you know, especially for an American company. You know, there's no loyalty or anything there, and, you know, as soon as something's released, you can guarantee someone's bought it in China and they're taking it apart and they're working, how do we make this? Let, let's just do it. Yeah, it is bad because obviously we need Chinese manufacturing to keep the cost down and it is a good thing. And we like American design, but it gets really awkward. And yeah, ultimately it is a shame, especially as now Asmodus have gone to Sigeli and uh, I'm not a fan of Sigeli. Okay, so that's probably not enough ragging on 2016, but fuck it, we're going to leave it there and bring us across to the good stuff. 
the good shit that's been happening. E-cigarettes, despite all of that shit, are still going strong. Yeah, popularity is going up and up. You just see more and more people quitting cigarettes, getting onto vaping, and it's just great. You know, despite those heavy-handed TPD and FDA rules, you know, people are still just getting into it. And it's not just people getting into vaping. We're seeing vape companies starting. We're seeing new stuff come out. There's still innovation happening at the moment, uh, which we really, really hope continues. You know, that's where our hopes are. Next up for the good shit this year is uh, loads of new e-juices and devices. So this year alone, I mean, me and Slack went to, to three expos around the country, or I think one in London and twice in Birmingham, and, and that was just sort of like a, a small snapshot of what happened in our local vicinity. Around the world, fucking expos have been going off left, right and centre, and at these expos, the e-juices the e are just fucking front and centre. They're phenomenal loads of different manufacturers loads of new places that we've never even heard of going around there talking to everyone getting free stuff which is always lovely to stuff, <laughs> stuff. <laughs> we, we love that because it, it's one of those awesome places where you can go try it first and if we both agree that we like it then we'll sort of like approach them and say look we, 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 we do this do you want us to do this for you and it's just a great way of trying it out but that aside, I mean, there are so many more fucking manufacturers that are, are not at these expos that, that are bringing out beautiful fucking juices. Yeah, so again, despite the TPD and FDA, that there has been an absolute ton of juice. And even in America, where they've got that very heavy-handed rule, there was like a line in the sand drawn, nothing new can be released, otherwise you're going to get a fine people have still been doing it they're just like well, okay do it sue me if you find out and just, yeah so it is good to see that keep going and we hope that continues through 2017 yeah next up sort of following on from the philip morris story earlier um people are actually starting to talk about the days when tobacco traditional tobacco cigarettes are gone and that's interesting you know because even with the, all the warnings and, the, and the, all, you know, the cutting down, the taxing that has been going on on cigarettes, that's been going on for years and it's sort of getting nowhere. It shows that actually vaping really is helping get rid of traditional cigarettes and that, that now there is that light at the end of the tunnel. So, yeah, that I definitely think is good. Of course, it is just media talk at the moment. We are probably a long way off that. But the fact that people are now mentioning it means that we're on the right track and lastly for the good stuff of 2016 is the beginning devices the the stuff that gets people interested in e-cigarettes uh, the, the the likes of, of you know like the the eye clears um from e-leaf uh, the jet blue the jet blue actually it's really good i got i got the eye clear and i i tested it out and we, we were sort of going to be doing a review for it but it never fucking panned out and but it, it was for a starter device, I was fucking really impressed. And these starter devices just seem to be going from strength to strength because when we started out vaping, they were shit. Yeah, I mean, not only were the devices shit, I mean, you know, we were talking cigar likes only and, you know, there was like a wadge of cotton wool which went onto a heating element which would burn out and it, it was shit. And not only just the device was shit, the juice that went in it was shit. And, you know, now it, it's definitely a lot more attractive and that's good because it's going to get people off the stinkies, you know, onto e-cigarettes and, you know, choosing to quit if they want or, or just staying on e-cigarettes, you know, however it works for you. But yeah, the range right through, even now, the sort of cigar likes are just so much better than that original design. Yeah, there's so many good manufacturers out there that do really good cigar likes. The pen device is so much more reliable, bigger, mm. longer lasting battery. You get a better hit out of it. You can taste the juice better. It is just so much better than when we started. I mean, it is just great. To clarify that point, I mean, at the time, we didn't think it was shit. We were actually quite happy with... with... Oh, actually, no. When I first... When I very first... Because I got into vaping around 2008. Yeah, I, I had a cigar like and it, it was shit. It was like going to a brothel for a hug, you know? You go out in the smoking area and sort of pretend to smoke, and it kind of... You know, it's like going to a pub and drinking cola. It's, you know, it's all right, but it's not the same. When they've got fucking ale there and everyone else is smoking cigarettes and you're like, oh, come on. Okay, from my personal perspective, it, it was a, at least on a par with smoking cigarettes. So I thought at the time, well, if, if it's on a par, I mean, it's not worse. So 
you know, it's okay. It's only until you transition and go through the generations of the devices that you realise, looking back on it, my God, that was a piece of shit. But yeah, I mean, as Tony said, like about the iCloud, I mean, we, we quite often buy sort of like the starter stuff to just try it out, and sometimes we get free samples and that. And yeah, it's just really impressive and definitely a lot more of an inviting sort of option compared to what we started with. And not only that, the range, you know, for beginners, when you, you get up to your pen devices, they've come on so much this year. You know, iJust S is out, and it's it's a beast. You've got the new lovely stainless steel cores, the 0.18. They're just tasty, and you, you've got things like the Wismec Vecino D30, which is really cool because you've got adjustable power on a pen device. That's mm. great. Not only that, it's got bypass mode. It's, yeah, brilliant, strength to strength. And again, this is something that I'm quite excited about for next year. You didn't call that a pen device. You you were calling it a highlighter because it was just too fucking big for a pen. <laughs> yeah, true. But let's get that technology in at something smaller, you know, and something more usable. Because something like the size of an iJust S, put an on-body, you know, air adjustment on it. That's what that is, by the way. Uh, and, you know, an adjustable power on it. That would be the perfect device because it's not too awkward in size. You don't have to worry as much about the separate batteries or anything. It's, yeah, that's what we want to see. 2017, make it happen. Right, OK, with that out of the way, we're going to move on to our next bit where we're going to try and pick our favourite devices of the year. So starting with mods, Tony, what do you reckon yours is going to be for this year? I reckon it's easy because I've got it written on the screen right there. It's apparently the RX 200S. No, it is the RX 200S. I've been a firm favourite of, of the RX series. They're, they're, we, we got their, their first triple battery mod and we both fucking liked them. You still got yours, I got rid of mine, and then he got me the RX 200S, which I've still got even though I got... we Did we review the 2 slash 3? No. No, we got the 2 slash 3, but we never actually fucking recorded a review for it. Just another one that... Too much stuff, not enough time. <laughs> Hard life, isn't it? Um, uh, ended up getting rid of it and, and sticking with the RX 200S because how the fuck can I get rid of a birthday present? I can't. You. Me? Um, well, as it says on the screen. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, so for me, it was kind of a close one, actually, because the uh, Smoke Alien uh, is really nice. I really like the way it feels in the hand. It's got good performance. However... Having since review, I, I stopped using it and went back to the Lysomo L1, which is going to be my choice. Now, this is bad. I feel dirty choosing that after you know the whole controversy with Asmodus and, and Lysomo. And um, yeah, this was going to be the Snow Wolf 2, and I was really hyped about the Snow Wolf 2. And then the Snow Wolf 2 didn't happen, but this did. And it's fucking awesome. Uh, it is just brilliant. It works really reliably. The screen's really cool. Works really well. Functionality is just good. The only thing, there's two things that a dick moves about aside from what happened between the companies. First is the battery indicator. It just, you know, it gets halfway down and it's flat. You know, you don't get a warning. And the other thing is the firmware updating, which you only do once in a blue moon. Anyway, aside from that, it is just a perfect device for me. I love it. Moving on now to favourite atties of the year, Slack. Well, apparently I'm not allowed to say the U World Crown anymore. Tony doesn't like it. The fact that I keep using the U World Crown, I've got one in rose gold. I fucking love it. The corals work great. It, coral life is brilliant. Flavour's good. But I'm not allowed to say that anymore. Uh, so I'm going Cleto 120. Uh, it is a big boy. It works really well. Great flavour. Good airflow. Nice and lightweight. And yeah, winner, winner. Chicken dinner. What about you, Tony? <laughs> Joytech Ultimo. Uh, we haven't reviewed it yet. I don't know, even know if we're actually going to get around to reviewing it because I've had it for a while. I've got a selection of coils with it. The fucking coil life of these bastards is phenomenal. I've do, run... Do, 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 do. Oh, phenomenal. Do, 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 do. Fuck off. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> I've been running the... Or I have run the same coil in, in the Ultimo for probably about a month and a half and the flavour is still on point, which is weird. Hence why it's taken so long to even get to thinking about reviews, which is why I say that it might not happen, but currently testing the ceramic coils in them. Mm -hmm. Controversy over them as well. Oh yes. 
Right, next up we're going to take RDAs, uh, drippers. So, Tone? Dog 3, I think. Just, I like the airflow. Yeah, airflow and uh, that, that drip tip, I really like it. That sort of ceramic-y feeling drip tip and that huge block of copper. <laughs> huge, yeah, is, is a good one. Uh, for me, though, it was kind of a tough one. I, I really did like the recoil RDA. Um, there's a lot of good stuff going on about that. But I think for me, it's going to be the Troll V2, the 22mm jobber. Uh, I was just blown away with that, and it's fucking cheap as well. You know, you, you're in the bargain basement sort of price section, but there's just like awesome performance. Really good. And lastly, for this section, has got to be RTAs. Yeah, easy win for me, the engine. Engine. Uh, yeah, for you as well, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it's just as good you know, in terms of simplicity as the Cryos was, but, you know, it's just so much better. You know, big, oh, yeah, love it. Okay, uh, next up, kind of would have been juice, but I don't think we can do it. Um, because like trying to pick a favourite juice when I, I like changing juice so often and there has been so much good juice this year. You know, going to the expos you get to try tons and tons of stuff as well and there's just some amazing stuff out there. We've reviewed loads of our favourites, you know, and we've been blown away by different stuff and there's been so many unexpected favourites, you know, you like we've tried a tobacco that we both absolutely loved it was just gorgeous and we're like hang on you know tobacco is usually <laughs> like well, yeah it's sort of, is good but you know it's, but this was you know delicious and you know, menthol we've been back on menthols again and loving it it's just there's so many weird juices that we wouldn't have thought we'd have liked mm. so i don't even think we could pick a favorite because for me i mean I'll, I'll buy a 30 or a 60 mil bottle sometimes you know occasionally the bigger ones uh, if I buy a bigger one, I won't finish it. I'll do like half of it and, and then move to something else because I get bored. And I've usually got about three or four different ones on the go at the same time. Uh, so trying to pick one out of there, I, I don't think I could this year, um, which is good. Yeah, Variety is the spice of life. Okay, guys, so barring the e-juice, I mean, that's been our pick of favourites for the year. But get in touch, let us know, drop us a comment down below, follow uh, ask us on the social or tell us on the social medias even social media <laughs> what's yours what what have you picked out for the year what's what's been your highlight what's been your low light what's low light highs and lows yeah sure. yeah that one yeah yeah we've already heard from a couple of people what their favorites are for the year so like uh, incitatus incitatus his favourite mod was the Vape Droid. You know, he's pretty confident that's going to be his favourite of the year. Yeah, and I've been chatting to Neil Walker on Facebook who who has more or less fallen in love with the Mason dump tank. <laughs> I would not want to vape something called the dump tank. They should rename that. To be fair, though, it does look the bollocks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so like we said, just hit us up in the comments below and let us know what your favourite things are of this year. And actually, that's quite a good segue into a quick shout out which we've actually been promising to do for a while. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, first up, Rhys Reynolds. Uh, it's been ages, you know, it, we were chatting ages ago on Facebook, and we said, I'll give you a shout out. And uh, finally, it's happened. It's just because of the lack of vlogs, because we're fucking useless. Sorry. Next up on the shout outs list has got to be Don Nicola. All right, mate, shout it out. Yeah, Don the Bloodhound. <laughs> Watch our videos. Also, shout out to our 666 competition winner, Gary Hall. Next up, Tyler Finicky. All right, cheeky. <laughs> Next up on the shout outs is James Bushel. All, All right, mate. mate. <laughs> and hey to Toby Bass. And of course, a shout out to Mark Thorley and his Mrs. Charlotte. Hi, guys. Shout it out. Shout out to Barry Patterson. Yeah, and uh, all of our sort of old school regulars, you know, who we chat to all the time, like Incatasis, uh, Devilish Mode, and uh, yeah, everyone else we're forgetting because we're fucking useless. And lastly, lastly, a very special shout out to Phil and his missus who messaged us directly on, on the YouTube channel, sending a very heartfelt message to, to the both of us for the efforts that we do on the channel. And uh, with the standout sentence of because of us and the videos that we produce, both him and his missus have, have given up smoking and are full-time vapors is just fantastic. Yeah, it's brilliant. You know, 
we love the comments you guys send in. Yeah, there's so much positive support for it. It's just brilliant. And, and hearing stuff like this, I mean, it's just very humbling and, you know, it's very satisfying. It makes this staring into a camera in a darkened room with like spotlights shining on you, you know, it makes it so worthwhile, you know, that, that sort of interaction. And, yeah, it's just brilliant. So thanks to Phil and thanks to everyone for all your positive comments this year. It has just been amazing. Okay, guys, next up, uh, an apology from both of us uh, about Facebook messages. While we do do get face the regular Facebook messages from you guys, sometimes Facebook is a bit fucking screwy and puts them in a different place for us. And it was only a few months ago that I found this secret special place at the back of the knee through the cupboard in, in a wondrous place. No, it was a fucking nightmare to try and find. I was just bored and I was clicking about on Facebook and found hidden messages or filtered messages or something like that uh, and yeah found a fair fucking few messages in there guys we apologize we, we've seen them all but they are all now so fucking old that if you haven't answered them then you've probably gone back to smoke now <laughs> Mo moving forward from that uh, he I've got a shit phone, I've got a fucking Windows piece of shit phone and trying to do any social media on a Windows phone is a fucking nightmare. Now that's that's going to be addressed, I'm getting a Google phone so hopefully the problem will then transpose from the problem being a Windows phone to not actually understanding this new piece of shit Google phone that I've just got uh, and that will be the excuse. So again, sorry in advance. I run both a Windows phone and an Android phone and uh, I still have issues with stuff working properly like Twitter notifications, it's like Russian roulette as to whether you get them. Again, next year we're going to put focus on that and yeah, hopefully we're going to pan it out. This is going to be another vlog story where we're going to say we're going to do something, we're going to do it with all our best intentions. In it. We'll see, we'll see. We're, we're going to try. Now we're, we're aware of it, hopefully we'll be able to sort it out and uh, that'll be good. Okay, so drawing this mammoth video to kind of a close-ish, what's next to say? Thank you guys so much for all your subscriptions. We've just been blown away by the amount that have been coming in. Yeah, subscriptions and views just on the up, which is nice. You know, we've just topped 200,000 views and by the time we edit this, it'll be 1,000 subs, which is nice. And, uh, you know, to think we just started as an idea, you know, about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just great, you know. The comments we get as well are just brilliant. You know, there's a lot of positive support from you guys and uh, it is just awesome. It really does make what we do worthwhile. Yeah, and while we're talking about you guys, yeah, let us know what you're getting for Christmas or what you've already got for Christmas if you're watching this post-Christmas, you know, what you're going to be spending those Christmas pennies on. Yeah, what's on your horizon for vape gear, e-juice, all that good stuff, you know, what are you excited for in 2017? Let us know, we're nosy bastards. Yeah. Yeah, and also let us know if there's anything you want to see us doing in the future, you know, for 2017. Yeah, if Within reason. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you know, for the right price, we might. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, if, if there, you know, there's different things that you want to see us involved in, yeah, just let us know. As always, hit us up in the comments section or find us on social media. Okay, guys, that kind of draws to a close our what were we calling it? Your vlog. Your your vlog. Apparently, that sounds so wrong on so many levels. Guys, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy what you're seeing and what we're doing for you. If you do, please drop a like and do the whole subscribe thing because it helps us out a lot. Also, if you like us that much, follow us on social medias, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I said medias, I apologise, because we're a bit... Chatty, yeah, I remember sharing is caring, so yeah, do share us out there, you know, get us to grow. Yeah, the, the quicker we grow, the more competitions we'll be able to bring you in 2017, all that good stuff. What are you chuckling at? Growing. Uh, okay. Yeah, don't forget to hit us up in the comments section below with like your experience of 2016, all the good and the bad, and the things you're looking forward to for Christmas and for 2017. Also, don't forget to stay tuned for the usual outtakes and a small selection of our favourite outtakes from 2016. But for now, guys, thanks for watching Smog Vlog. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that stuff. Hi, I'm Slack, this is Tony, 
And today, we're doing smog vlog. Now I remember. <laughs> <clears throat> Someone's having a long day. And it's me because of you. <laughs> no crying on camera, Tony. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> yeah. Yeah! I am. Why do I insist on asking? I should just launch straight in. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the episode in my head. What? Am I what? <laughs> At least I wasn't doing words. No, <laughs> you're just standing there looking into the... <laughs> 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 The meds have just kicked in. I can't help they it. really have. They're kicking your ass all over the place. Ready? Uh. 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 Okay. Sixty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the flavour now. Tony, how do you find the flavour? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> this again. <laughs> Hi. Oh. <laughs> it's alright, I've got my hands free. Ding now. Hi, I'm <laughs> slacking. <laughs> Again. Stop it. <laughs> Stop fucking making me anxious. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Your impatience just makes it worse. <laughs> Shaved gorilla. <laughs> Come on. A trained shaved gorilla. <laughs> yeah. Next one, house trained as well. Sort of flinging poo everywhere. Uh, please do so. Um, we'll link you up. It'll be in the description. Um... <laughs> I was going to say, well, uh, what have I said so far? <laughs> Um, <laughs> stop looking loving at me, prick. I'm <laughs> oh, just getting comfortable, you know, <laughs> for the show. Thanks. <laughs> it's right. It's it does. It's all right. This is an organic thing, you know. This is how, you know, we're, we're growing as <laughs> people. We've got some more organics for you. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, dude, have you fucking inhaled nutter up your arsehole or something? <laughs> Not what, <also. laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It sounds like some small mammal trying to escape. <laughs> you spend a lot of time listening to otters. <laughs> otters stuffed up arseholes. <laughs> is, that, is that a thing? <laughs> it's a VIP club, you know. Special club, special handshake to get in. <laughs> right, okay. It... <clears throat> oh, yum, 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 dum. Yeah. Shush, I'm trying to word stuff. It's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't <laughs> <speaking of> words <laughs> with you. <laughs> 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 oh, I nearly dropped that on the head. Oh, yeah, you did. Okay. Arabian goggles. So, <laughs> Sorry, continue. <laughs> oh. Juiced himself. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Creamy goodness everywhere. Yeah, I took it rock climbing and jet skiing, and you know, it was, it was a really good sparring partner. Really good. Uh, did, yeah, I'm gonna... Stop 
stop it. I'm about to stop. <laughs> this isn't great. I just obviously oh. ordered the wrong fucking thing. Are we leaving that in or shall I redo <laughs> that? <laughs> you might need to redo that. But... <laughs> Dirty, dirty, dirty. Your beard is oh. dirty. Oh. <laughs> Come on, I've got to share a safe with you, dirty bastard. <laughs> you love it. Yeah, really? Not on camera. <laughs> Apart from that one time. <laughs> um. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I would almost certainly guarantee that this is one of them stories. There's a moth. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you're deaf now. <laughs> There's a moth. It was a moth, moth and it was coming right at him. <laughs> well, I'll keep my shit in there. Not literally my shit, you know, my clothes. It's a small, shit. small pile in the corner. <laughs> of clothes, yeah, just to clarify. <laughs> what? I can't wave with this hand, it goes off the screen. It's really annoying. It's... <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm a snack. That's Tony. Yeah. <clears throat> Come here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it feels so nice and cool. It really does, doesn't I it? I love it. I love blowing it up and then and just... just feel it. Oh, I've done my naked body. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, that was something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so welcome back. Yeah, as we said today, we are going to be... Oh, we're going to start with the thing. Yeah, all right. Shush. Okay, so welcome back. Yeah, so... Ru... Rubit. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, so welcome back. <laughs> Stop chipmunking, Jesus Christ. Never worked with animals. I felt the box. Yeah, I did. Mm. Naughty. Can I rub it on my face? Later. Uh, the box... Not his cock. Later. <laughs> Rip -tarp. Don't even know what tank that is. I've got too many fucking tanks. That's your crooks. That's your crooks. It's up to you. Yeah. I don't mind. I'll do it. Uh, Go for it. I'm going to drink too. <clears throat> okay, well, don't slurp too loud. Better then. That's good, right? It's great. <laughs> this sounds like you're noshing me off, bearing in mind it's a screen overlay. Don't spit, you bastard. <laughs> you appreciate <laughs> you <love> me. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all lumpy. <laughs> you know that psychological thing where... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not why your tea's lumpy. <laughs> the special sauce. <laughs> Like I'm in a massage chair. Roll, roll, roll. It's like I'm in the fucking twilight fucking zone. <laughs> I'm trying to keep pace, dude. Come on. You ready? You ready? Uh, let's assume yes. <laughs> He's still laughing at Gooch. <laughs> yes! Between your balls. You've not heard that I've not heard that one before. <laughs> also called you Notcha. Because <laughs> it's not your balls and not your arsehole. <laughs> oh, that's not as good. I, I like Gooch better. <laughs> hey, Gooch. <laughs> <laughs> Warranty, 90 six days. Six months. Yeah, 90 Six months? Days. Where'd you get six months? I, I thought you said six months earlier. All right. Uh, Warranty. 30 days. 90 days for fuck's sake. sakes. <laughs> Shall I just take warranty? Please. Okay, now for the warranty of the device. It's a 90 day, your standard limited warranty. Not six months, as Tony might try and tell you. Not 30 days. It's 90 days. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? Or is it? Nobody <laughs> knows. Shall I lead him? Double header. Well. Double header. Oh.
Yeah, that, that, yeah that's enough phallic gestures for one episode. <laughs> yeah. uh, in testing, it's really, really, not really. It. Um. <laughs> There we go. Because it might take me a couple of goes. Because I know everything that I said. I just haven't org ordered it, organised it in my head or anything. Okay. So it'll be fun. Do you want to do the staring into space over here and go? <laughs> I was just doing it. I was just doing it. It's called tuning. Having to vape a tank without a drip tip on feels so wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, it's right to the top. This is gonna be noisy and messy. It's like my sex. Uh starting to feel sorry for your neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> the buttons don't rattle as such. Um Goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take it. See, see how Go it goes. Do you take it? There's you girl. <laughs> I got the squeaking sound. <laughs> My missus already thinks we're up for having sex. <laughs> Have I got, have I got <laughs> something? <laughs> oh. Right, come on, let's do this. This, not that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's get this party started. <laughs> <laughs> it's there, go on, do the clink again. It's making it worse. Unbelievable. <laughs> and other than that, it's been uh, mango juices, vanilla custard, and for fucking hell, dog. <laughs> that is good. And other than oh, that, oh, 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 oh. I'm going to give you a nipple cripple in a minute. <laughs> It's like the cat eating the fruit basket. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the cover picture, isn't it? <laughs> the cat with the bell. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Ready for the money shot. <laughs> Tony, do you have any thoughts on this? <laughs> yeah, give me a minute. Was that? Yeah. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Can't help it. <laughs> so it's going in the wash after. It's all dirty. And then a good burning. <laughs> Fucking shut up. <laughs> Jesus, choking bastard. Die quietly. <laughs>
So starting off, it's obviously a 200 watt mod. It's a dual 18 650 mod, as you saw when I popped its skirt. <laughs> 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 Sorry, these things happen. Why is that? Why am I still laughing? Also, if you'd like, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram because we are a bit chatty. Oh yeah. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you told me to shut up. I fucking shut up and then you just sit there going. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ready? No. Yeah, no, no. Mmm, <laughs> chicken. Are you starting? Are you swallowing a laugh? Fell end. <laughs> it's usually my job. <laughs> it's like a whole collection of things, you know. One of the things I'm getting, it's sort of almost like the pink sherbet. Mm -hmm. not, not sherbet. I didn't mean sherbet. One of the things I'm getting come through. I fucking stop laughing. We're never going to finish. Pink sherbet. <laughs> <laughs> Because you do it more Austin Powersy. No, because I'm not saying sherbet. It's you that says sherbet, so I'm leaving you to talk about the sherbet. One of the things I'm getting come through is kind of like a pink fucking sherbet. <laughs> again. It's not fucking sherbet. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. You're not knocking the microphone, are you? I'm not knocking the microphone. No, I'm just making sure you're not sort of making grazing noises. I'm not like. touching it. I'll just touch it a little bit. <laughs> just the tip. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, oh yeah, let's reward ourselves with a vape. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> In. We've recorded about five seconds of footage and we have to stop for a bite. That was a hard five seconds. <laughs> stop making me flee! I need to wee shit! You need to wee shit. We've got some lights downstairs. Taking off, that will probably happen. Oh. <coughs> Tank capacity is two mils of TPD ready. Fucking hell. There's no good wafting because it's all in your I know. <coughs> this is what happens. Why won't it help, Tony? No, you're right, it can't. Ow, that was <laughs> Mr. Right, eh? <laughs> I put the thing down a bit too hard. <laughs> Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Directly on Mr. Righty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering what are you doing <laughs> later. <laughs> well, it kind of sounded like now. <laughs> if you're good and we get through the review. <laughs> Dangle that carrot. Yeah. <laughs> Metaphorical motivation we're talking here. Just to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, twisted claptons, claptons, dual claptons, dual claptons. Uh, <clears throat> dual twisted claptons, dual, dual twisted. <laughs> this fucking <laughs> twisted, no, this is double drip. Twisted claptons that he's got in there. They're not twisted, they're just <laughs> fucking double claptons, dual claptons. They should be twisted, just fucking twist them. Oh, I'll twist something in a minute. <laughs> oh. It was the wicking of the coils, you know, there was absolutely no dry hits. That Even that hit, 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 it was just, every hit was just like, you know, okay, a little bit warmer, but, you know, it was just like a fresh hit. It's like a fresh cup of coffee on a summer's morning. 
I don't know. Why did we not <laughs> <that thing? laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. What have you put in that? <laughs> oh, this is cannibals. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> Uh, stop laughing my bladder. I'm not laughing your bladder, you're laughing your bladder. Mm. That smells bad. bad. Curry? Yeah. <laughs> Two days running now. I made curry. <laughs> That is the idea. Swallowed. Bellend. <laughs> Thanks for your concern. <coughs> huh. Means so much to me as always. I have actually done that before and then burped a vapour out. <laughs> Again, with the concern. <laughs> You're still here, aren't you? I couldn't tell you I was about to burp, so don't start, because uh, I, I was about to burp. You look like you were doing your Tai Chi shit. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> I breathed in too much. <laughs> Jeez. One more time with Phelan. Hi, I'm Slack. This is Tony. <laughs> Welcome to Smog Vlog. <laughs> Today we're going to be reviewing Double Drip Core Sauce, the entire range. Wow! Yeah, let's get through this. Oh, I'm desperate for a piss. I think it started seeping out. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, I can't laugh too much. <laughs> I think we might have synced up because when I just laughed there, I, I felt a bit of weight came out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is now. <laughs> To squeeze. <laughs> what me? <laughs> if I squeeze you, we're both gonna be in trouble. <laughs> it's gonna make good entertainment though. <laughs> Two grown men pissing themselves. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was planning on going at least another thirty years before I start weeing myself. Oh uh, no, mate, ahead of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's us. <laughs> yeah. Take two. I think we're up to about four, actually. You good? Yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm Slack. This is Tony. <laughs> Smoke Vogue, stop! <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, Tejano. We're over here. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> Again, <laughs> so it's like it's like a yule log, 
and it's your vlog. So I did that. Yeah, yeah. All the time you were saying that, I was thinking, crimping off the length. <laughs> That's part of the course with you, though, isn't it? Yeah, not that I want to. Oh, now that you've said it. <laughs> oh, God. All right, next up, uh, it's going to be the fact that people in the media, uh, this is following on from the Philip... 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 Hello, Philip... Hello... <sighs> yeah, probably. I think we should. <laughs> that was me telling you a way that wasn't a Tai Chi burp. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do they say? Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> you should really totally train and practice saying namaste when you burp. <laughs> oh, I don't know what it means. Uh... See, I'll do that and it'll probably turn out to translate two cocks in my arse or something. Uh, everyone always says it, they say it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what you're watching, I suppose. <laughs> if that's in the outtakes, we apologise. <laughs> I can't do it too much otherwise we're <laughs> mod again again and the other thing is the firmware update that <laughs> <laughs> oh no it's Jesus I know it's this rhubarb man uh. it's setting me off yeah I spilt the bottle of rhubarb what 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 oh no yeah, not all of it, but loads of it. Fucking annoyed. Uh, oh. Namaste. I'm <laughs> 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 well, getting ready to blow some rings. <laughs> 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 Namaste. I think you should definitely go to all the vape tricks thing and just make people laugh as they're about <laughs> blow some nose I think they might take offence to me tickling their arseholes though so while we're talking <clears> about <throat> their mistake sorry Oh, it smells like cock. <laughs> well, you'd be the authority on that. <laughs> You've got all red. You're like a negative Santa now. <laughs> White hat and red face. <clears throat> there we go. Let's sort that out nicely. There we go. We're all good now. This droopy cock hanging off my head. Large ball of cum at the end. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I did. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I was doing the executive handover. Handover? It was my line that you're interrupting. <laughs> Not a handover. But yeah, if, if there, you know, there's different things that you want to see us involved in, yeah, just let us know. As always, hit us up in the comments section or find us on social media. Social media. 